Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. In this video, we will solve a fun little equation. x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 3. Solve for real values of x. In order to solve this equation, we have to understand what it means when we have nested exponents. We want to interpret them from the top down. So x to the power of x to the power of 3 should be interpreted as x to the power of x cubed, and it is not equal to the group term x to the power of x raised to the power of 3. So let's work out this equation. Let's start out by evaluating some values. If x is equal to 1, then x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 1 to the power of 1 cubed. We first evaluate 1 cubed, which is equal to 1. So this is equal to 1 to the power of 1, which is equal to 1. This is less than 3. So when x is equal to 1, we have too small of a value for x to the power of x cubed. What happens when x is equal to 2? x to the power of x cubed will be 2 to the power of 2 cubed. 2 cubed gets evaluated first. This is equal to 8. 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 256, which is much larger than 3. Now, for any value of x greater than 2, x to the power of x cubed is just going to keep on increasing in size. It's going to keep growing. So we're going to just keep getting larger and larger values. None of these will be equal to 3. So we know the value of x we're looking for is between 1 and 2. But what is its value? I will first present an incredible trick to solve this equation using exponent rules. We have the equation x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 3. This is understood to mean x to the power of x cubed is equal to 3. Here comes the first trick. Let's raise both sides of the equation to the power of 3. So we have the left hand side cubed and we will have the right hand side cubed. Let us now use the exponent rule a to the power of m, the group term to the power of n is equal to a to the power m times n. Let's take m to be equal to x cubed and n to be equal to 3. So when we're taking an exponent to an exponent, we will multiply them together. So we will have 3 times x cubed. Let's get rid of this parentheses in the exponent. And now we will use the same rule in reverse a to the power of mn is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Take m to be 3 and n to be x cubed. So we will now take x cubed as this exponent. So we have x cubed to the power of x cubed is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So now we have x cubed is equal to 3 and x cubed is equal to 3. So it must be the case that x cubed is equal to 3. But how do we solve this equation for real values? All we need to do is take the cube root. We have x is equal to the cube root of 3, which is approximately equal to 1.442. And that's the answer. Now, of course, a cautionary tale. x to the power of 3 is equal to 3 is a cubic equation. A cubic equation would have three roots in complex numbers. We don't have to worry about the two complex roots. We are just looking for a real value solution between one and two. We found one. So this is the answer. As a final check, let's substitute this value into the original expression. We have x to the power of x cubed. We substitute in the cube root of three for x. Now the cube root of three to the power of three will just be equal to three. And then again, we have the cube root of 3 to the power of 3, and that will be equal to 3. So in fact, we do have x to the power of x cubed is equal to 3. We have found a real solution. Now, if you didn't see the clever trick using exponent rules, that's perfectly fine. I'll admit I didn't see this solution myself. So I will also present a solution that uses logarithms. It's a much more general method, and it'll solve many types of problems of this nature. Let's say we have x to the power of x cubed is equal to 3. Do a substitution that y is equal to x cubed. We then have the equation x to the power of y is equal to 3. Take the natural log of both sides, and then we can bring down this exponent y. 
if y is equal to x cubed, then x is equal to y to the power of 1 over 3. Substitute in for x. We now have an exponent of 1 over 3, which we could bring down. Then we multiply both sides of the equation by 3, so that we have y times the natural log of y is equal to 3 times the natural log of 3. So let's take a look at this equation. We have a coefficient of y, which matches 3, and we have an argument of y, which matches 3. So of course, y is equal to 3. But if y is equal to 3, then x is equal to y to the power of 1 over 3, which means we have 3 to the power of 1 over 3, or the cube root of 3. So once again, we have that x is equal to the cube root of 3. And this is another way to solve this fun little equation. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.